Well, today I wanted to show you something that might be of interest to you. Now, this is kind of like about composting, but not quite. What I've got here, this is one of my floating raft uh, tanks that I use in this uh, aquaponic environment. And I've developed some leaks in the plastic, so I've got to replace it, the plastic liner, that is. And when I, I've got to pump the water out of here, but there's a lot of residual stuff in here that's organic matter and so forth. And I wanted to show you this, and uh, this is this is kind of like, I guess, uh, in a way, sort of like compost. But let me let me show you uh, what I've got here. Now, just so you can see what what's going on here. See, I've got three tanks here: one, two, and the last one. And what happens is water comes in here from the fish pond over there. You can see it right over there. I'll take you over there and show you that fish pond. But it gets pumped out of the fish pond, comes out here, and then through these pipes it goes from one tank to the other, and then back in the fish pond. Now here's a picture back when I built this, and as you, this is four years ago, so this has lasted quite a while. And there's the pond back there, as you can see. And it all circle, it all comes from the pond, uh, cycles through by these three grow bins, and then goes right back to the pond. And what we've got here is uh, residual. I pumped the water out of here because I've got some leaks. As you can see, this plastic is coming apart. This is just construction plastic that I put in there actually a couple of years ago. So it's held up a lot longer than I thought it would. But I've got to replace it. So uh, I've got to pump this out. And here's what we have here. Let me just show you this. Uh, this is uh, like a mud. See that? It's kind of a muddy stuff. And uh, I had this little pump here to pump it out, and it won't. the pump won't pump it anymore. But let me just grab some of this and kind of show you what we have here. Now this is a... Uh, oh boy, this bucket's going to come apart. But this is a, a muddy mess. It's, uh, <laughs> it's about the... Uh, Oh, the consistency, maybe. Let me pour a little bit out so you can see it. It's about the consistency, maybe, of uh, very thin cow manure, I suppose. It doesn't have a smell to it at all, but it's uh, compost. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get all this out of here, and I'm going to uh, pour it in one of my uh, grow beds over here, those, those uh, black uh, containers, as you can see. And... Uh, We'll, put, we'll fill up one of those with this. We'll not fill it up, but we'll just put that in there and let the water uh, drain and evaporate out of it. And we'll use this as compost. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to be putting the uh, fish compost, I guess I'll call it, right here in this container. There are some things that are growing in it. Uh, like I think these are onions and things, but I, they, these are just things that have come up, so they're not too important to me right now. But... This is good compost uh, to pour in here, so that's what I'm going to do. So, here we go. There's the first one. Let's just kind of pour that in there. See how sloppy and muddy that is. Let me get you a close-up here. See, that's just a kind of a mucky pile of goo. Anyway, that's uh, probably... that's. I'm sure when that dries out a little bit, that'll... Find, you'll find that to be very, very uh, organically enriched soil. So we're going to uh, scoop that stuff out of there. You can see there's the, there's the bin, the grow bed over there. And we're going to put it in here. Okay, there's the first one all filled up. And I still have quite a bit more to go. So I'm going to put the rest of it over here. As you can see, the, the level in here is, quite, is down quite far. So this can take more. And uh, so I'll put the rest of it in here. But you can see the consistency here is, uh, it's, it's like very fine mud. <laughs> and uh, so we'll let this dry out. And uh, I think when we're done, this will be probably the best compost I've ever had. Now, as you can see, we're uh, getting close to the bottom of this. I've already scooped a lot out, but I know this is just mud, but you can see they there's a there's a consistency to it. It's a it's mud, but you know it's very 
very uh, wet mud, let's put it that way. But it's compost, basically. And what it is, this is the sediment from uh, a couple of years of using this as a floating raft grow bed. And this is all of the organic matter that has uh, sunk to the bottom, the old roots and even some remnants of old little animals in here, you know, such as there was some uh, goldfish and things that were in here, just a few things. All kinds of organic matter. Uh, old uh, tomatoes here, let's pull some, see there's some, I don't know what those things are, but see it's, it's got the consistency of mud kind of right there. That's thick, I don't, but this is all composted uh, organic matter. So we'll get the rest of this out of here and uh, put it in the grow bins. Well, okay, what a muddy mess that was. As you can see, you can see the frames there and everything. I got near the bottom here. There's still, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch of, uh, of compost down in there, organic matter. But I'm going to leave that for now because it's just too messy to get it out of there. So we'll let that dry out a little bit, and then maybe I'll uh, be able to scrape it out a little bit better. And then what I'm going to do is just leave this plastic uh, in there, and I'll put another another uh, set of plastic uh, uh, waterproofing over it, and then uh, reinstall it, and then this thing will be ready to go. Now, these have the same problem, so I'm going to have to do these two as well, but I think for now this one is enough. Now let me take you over here. Now this is where I dump this stuff. As you can see, there's a nice layer. And as you can see, the, there's a little sheen here from the water. But see right there, it's drying out a little bit already. These uh, these uh, bins, these grow, bit, grow beds have uh, drainage holes in them. As you can see, the, there's water dripping down there. So this will drain out, and then this will just leave the soil. I filled this one up as well, and I also put some in my regular compost bin just to have some place to store it. But anyway, there it is, uh, and uh, I think this is a good way to make some compost. Well, okay, it's the next day, and you can see how it's uh, dried out a little bit, and you can see some cracks in it, like you see in the desert when the when water evaporates off the ground, but uh, you can see now, I, I don't know if you're still fascinated by this, but let me, uh, let me pull this up, and you can see this is, uh, let's see, where is that, there it is. You can see it's a, uh, let me focus that, you can see it's a good, it's good fine dirt, see that? It needs to dry out a little bit more, but I think that's going to be very, 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 very good compost. So I'll plant some lettuce in here and we'll see how that goes.